Panzerkampf. In the blue square, we have the QET, Quantum Entangled Tanks, submitted by Chaotic Ping. This team consists of one HA Monstrosity M, one HA Monstrosity C, and five Rockthorn. And in the red square, we have the USW 3rd Panzer Corps, submitted by Infinity. This team consists of five Object 983s. All right, the tanks are on the battlefield. My timer is set, and so are they, so let's get this underway. Three, two, one, fight. All right, everyone's settling on the ground. QET does spawn with its HA monstrosities facing forwards, and then the uh, rest of them facing backwards and sideways for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. I think it's just the way they wanted to do it. Come on, QET. There they go. The Rockthorns have finally started moving. Everyone's gotten moving now. Yay! They don't collide with each other. Another interesting little um, multi-barrel design here. You saw this in the uh, Panzernacker and in the uh, Death Masks, uh, using multiple cannons to achieve more than just two barrels. Uh, because in this tournament, the rules say you can't have more than two barrels per firing piece. Well, it said nothing about not having more than one firing piece. And oh no, I think this Panzer has just almost flipped itself over. This Object 983 has indeed flipped itself over. Oh, that's unfortunate. That sideways firing uh, seems to have just popped it right on its side, and that's not good. That's not a good start at all. They've lost a, four, a fifth of their uh, oh <laughs> of their of their force, and there goes another one, just blown clean up into the air. I think it took a cram to the face. Oh, geez, the eight the heavy armor definitely has served this monstrosity well, although it has lost quite a few pieces in that assault, but that blast, that cram blast, was enough to finish it. And there goes a rock thorn just pummeling this upside down uh, Object 983. It may be offline, I don't know. Nope, they're still alive. There goes an unguided missile, courtesy of the HA Monstrosity M. Oh, geez, another blast from the rock thorns lifting this Object 983 up in the air. It looks like it took out, yeah, it hit its ammo storage. Those things are surprisingly easy to pop, and the turret actually should be popping off very soon here, uh, because as you saw underneath, yeah, the turret block is no longer connected to anything. So it should be popping very soon. Yeah, you see it's not moving at all, so it has been taken out. Object 93 comes around, though, and avenges its brother. The rock thorn is no more. <laughs> you kill my family! They kill you! Wasn't that a comedian did something like that? I kill you! I remember that. Was that Ahmed the Undead Terrorist? Yes, that was good. Oh dear, those those grenade launchers are leading the target a little too much. Probably should use a laser combiner. Those are allowed. Should have used one of those to keep the missiles on track because missiles do not need to lead their targets like that. Oh, that was good though. <laughs> Straight to the side of the Object 983, which is really very reluctant to fire again. It seems it took out that Rockthorn with great ease. But it hasn't fired again. This 983 is still pummeling the sides of the HA Monstrosity C, which fires again, and I think hits itself. Did it? I don't know what happened there. Yeah, it hit itself. Oh, nope. There it goes, chucking shells. I'm not even sure what those what those have in them. Pencils. Pencil lead! Get your pencil lead here! <laughs> Look at that. Just has no accuracy at all. I think it's lost all of its detection. So it's just chucking them everywhere. There are two massive missiles in the bottom of that, though. Oh, don't hit your own, your own Rockthorn. No. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the Rockthorn gets airlifted, and then it, another Rockthorn comes. With. Those are heat shells. It's firing with a, it seems a very large blast radius to them as well. Four heat shells. The burst fire on the Rockthorns is quite terrifying. If I may, I think it's actually more terrifying than anything that the H. The monstrosities have to dish out. The monstrosities are very good damage soakers. Oh, that's an Object 983 in a lot of trouble, though. Is AI dead? It's lost some sort of propulsion. I'm not sure what's going on there. I guess it's lost its engine in that heat strike. Because I heard the engine stop roaring. Where is the other Panzer? There, or not Object 983. They're called the Panzer Corps, and I keep calling them Panzers. They're not Panzers. They're just, uh... Yeah, I bet. I think these are also firing heat as well. A Rockthorn needs to turn around and, and give it the business. Rockthorn, that's not the business. 
That's your ass. You need to turn around and... Yeah, there you go. Turn around. Keep turning. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it does not want to turn around, it seems. Maybe turret steered? I'm not sure. There it goes. It's got it now. Turn. Turn. The missile, it, the missile tank is coming around trying to knock the uh, living snot. Oh no, that's a, that's the that's the missiles off the monstrosity sea. It needs to repair that cannon. It's firing clean through itself. It doesn't have any fail safes. I think that's why it fired it through itself in the beginning. It's just pummeling away at this heavy armor. <laughs> that's not gonna do any good. The gun that small, you're not gonna get anywhere. Rockthorn, turn around and help your team. Where is your team? Here is your team. This other rock, these things seem to have a lot of trouble getting on course to actually shoot things. When they do, that burst of four heat shells coming in simultaneously is quite terrifying. There you go, there you go, turn around, there you go. Oh, <laughs> it went it went split-eyed for a second there. Cans turned both ways. Why won't it turn and aim? It's most perplexing. Rockthorn. Oh, now it's got now it's got to turn. Now it's behind its own tank. It's got to turn around and oh, oh, and then it blasts its own tank. That's not helpful, Rockthorn. I could see that coming from a mile away. The AI just wouldn't turn until it was behind its own tank and could shoot it in the back. That's shameful. Now you've blown your missile tank's head off. This is quite a derpy fight. <laughs> the two remaining Object 893s are very happily plunky away at this rock thorn, which, for the life of it, cannot seem to turn around and actually aim at whatever it's trying to shoot at. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe it was set with a broadside angle. It's not good. If you're going to set your, your tank, if it doesn't have a turret, your tank needs to be set to broadside angle zero. Oh, jeez. I forgot there was a third rock thorn. They just pummeled that poor, uh, oh, don't hit your own. There you go. Pummeled that poor uh, object 983, which is going in hard and fast for this rock thorn. It's going to give it a friendly nudge. Try to flip it over. Is it going to succeed? Nope. The rock thorn has better stability. This thing is nothing but a roaming hole now. There's only one functional 893 alive. And I just heard the engine go out on it. Oh dear, oh dear. Not only do they have trouble firing fast, not only are they are they weakly armored, it seems their engines aren't also the most robust. Hopefully they don't catch fire easily too. That seems to be a thing with German engineering sometimes. Russian engineering too, if I'm not mistaken. There's a stream of heat coming in. Doesn't connect. Narrowly misses. Oh jeez, there was a big blow off the top of that, uh, that poor... What's it called? Rockthorn. Another one coming in. Smacks the side. Doesn't do any damage, though. It seems. It didn't seem to do much. Another flurry of shells. There's eight of them. <laughs> oh, jeez. Slamming into the side of a Panzer. Or an 893. I keep doing that. Doesn't do anything, though. Seems there's a specific weak spot you have to hit on these things. Two of them blew up almost instantly, and then that was it. This, uh... This cram tank, this missile, that's the missile tank. This cram tank needs to get back into the fight. It's so damaged. It's taking so many hits. And look, there's the AI right underneath it. It's just managed not to get cored yet. How, how that happened is a miracle to me. I don't know how that explosion, when it, when it detonated its own cram inside, didn't uh, kill it immediately. We're getting down to 12 minutes. By rights, these two really should be dead at this point. As much firepower as the Rockthorns have, they should have killed them by now. But the Rockthorns are just perpetually unable to actually get up themselves turned around. Look at this. It won't even turn. <laughs> Is this a differential drive? It looks like it. Is. Nope, it's car steering. It just won't turn. Why won't you turn around? Ugh. Alright, well, two of them have gotten it right anyway. They're coming in for blood. Oh, and there's another engine losing its cylinders. That booming sound you hear is basically the, uh... Excuse me, sneezing. It's the uh, sound of a cylinder overheating and shutting off inside of a, a, an engine on the, uh, on, on, on the tanks. Um, if you don't cool them off sufficiently... Ooh, glancing off the butt of a rock thorn doesn't seem to affect too much. Basically, if you don't cool your engines off sufficiently and they hit 95% heat capacity, uh, they will automatically overload and shut off until they cool back down. And that's the thing that happens when you know you don't have good uh, external uh, venting of the exhaust. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Burst fired straight to the side. Didn't do anything to these tanks, though. It's amazing how long these two have lasted. 
considering how quickly their brethren blew up. But yeah, anyway, they hear that booming sound. It's basically the uh, the 893's engine is overheating, and when that happens, they lose their engine. And they can't move for a little bit. Come on, Rockthorns. Jeez. <laughs> they are not the most accurate tanks, are they? A lot of wasted potential here. The, sh the amount of shells they can put out is devastating, especially for tanks this small. And there goes another cylinder. It may not shut the engine completely off, but it means the cylinder overheated, so you lose the power that it, that cylinder would be generating. I see if the Rockthorn could just pivot right here and turn around and blast. Oh, speaking of blasting, there's a glancing blow off the back of that roaming hole right there. This 893 is still alive by a miracle. How much does it have left? It's down to 77%, so the turret isn't a, is, is a big amount of hit points, but not too big. It was the, some of these tanks in this tournament, you hit the turret and kill it, and the whole tank pretty much despawns because it's lost too many hit points. Oh! <laughs> Straight in the ammo rack. <laughs> and that's what heat can do. Now, can the 893, this is the only remaining one that actually works. The other one's just a distraction at this point. Can the 893 stay alive long enough to avoid getting derped out of existence just like that Rockthorn just did? Look at that. Split firing at two 893s. And it hit one, it looks like. It hit that one 893. Nearly rolled this one over. This Rockthorn nearly rolled over. Will those rockets be on target? It is leading the target with the rockets because they're unguided. Oh, dear. Close, but no cigar. There's no guidance on these. Very, very big rockets, though. If they actually managed to hit, that would be quite devastating, I'd imagine. There are only two remaining Rockthorns, I think. Oh, no! Oh, that's unfortunate. That will almost certainly be the end of that that uh, 893 hole. And with that out of the t out of the game, that means they'll focus on the remaining undamaged one. AI dead, yes. Heat is very good at finding those fragile components that you don't want to get damaged, like uh, ammo and AI and ammo clips and autoloaders and all the juicy stuff that just makes things go boom and kills tanks very quickly. And, yeah. Oh, and there goes another one flipping the tank over, decapitating it. And I believe that will be it. The uh, engine is almost certainly cored out of it. It's a valiant run by that 893. That last kill was just spectacular. But, when you can't, uh, when you don't have any other friends around, it's very hard to pull a, uh, a win out of that. Very good fight, but it's now over. So congratulations, Chaotic Ping. Your Quantum Entangled tanks have managed to pull a win out of this one. They will continue on in the secondary brackets to try their hand at winning this tournament one more time. And uh, my condolences to Infinity. Your wonderful Panzer Corps has been defeated and will be removed from the tournament now. But thank you both for participating. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, I've been Chromoid, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.